Make your own crib sheet with Carmetta. Today I'm going to show you how to make this super simple but really cute crib sheet that's great as a baby shower gift or a fun way to quickly change the look of your nursery. The fabric I'm using is double brush polyester knit from Raspberry Creek Fabrics. Here's a list of all the materials if you want to pause it and write those down. The biggest thing is probably having the right needle which should be a ballpoint or a stretch needle. So the first step is to fold your fabric into quarters. I do this because you're cutting out a huge rectangle and it can be hard to work with that much fabric. So if you fold it in quarters, it's a little bit easier. The total rectangle is gonna be 66 by 44 inches. So since it's folded, I'm gonna, instead of cutting 66 inches, I'm cutting 33 inches from that folded line. Double check, measure twice, cut once. So again, the width is 44 inches. So since I'm cutting from the folded edge, I'm cutting 22 inches here. The total piece again is 66 by 44. Now that that's done, step two is to cut eight by eight inch squares out of each corner. Each corner that's not folded. Make sure you're cutting out of the corners that are not folded. If you cut the folded corners, you'll ruin your fabric and have to start all over again. Now you really wanna make sure that your squares are perfectly square, well as much as possible because it helps align your fabric on your seams so that the edges are all the same once you sew them down. I really love using rotary cutters for knit fabrics, they work the best. So the next step is we're gonna pin those corners that we just cut with the right sides together. So you just kind of flop it over that 90 degree angle and then pin it. And I actually like to use clips when I am pinning or clipping my knit fabric. And you'll see since the squares were cut really well, it lines up perfectly at the edges, which is what we're always looking for. So I'm gonna use a basic zigzag stitch. You can really do this on almost any machine and I did change my stitch length to 2.0. Don't forget to back stitch and then just stitch down the side of the fabric. What doesn't matter though here is really the seam allowance. I think I did a 5 8 seam allowance out of habit but because it's a knit fabric, it's really not that huge of a deal how big your seam allowance is. I'd probably keep it under an inch though. And I did trim off the excess fabric. So now we're gonna roll in the raw edge to create a casing. And I'm gonna start sewing at this yellow clip, go all the way around and then stop at this clear clip so that I have an opening spot right here where I can thread my elastic through. I'm not doing anything fancy here, same zigzag stitch. I'm just stitching right on the edge of the raw fabric, almost like I'm overcasting it. Now this took forever and I ended up burning out of bobbin thread so I sat there and stared at it while it re-threaded itself. <laughs> And then it took forever to sew all the way around, but that's how you know you're doing it right because good Any things take timing. time. Now that that's done, you're gonna go ahead and thread your elastic through your casing. I used about 65 to 70 inches of elastic. Oh, and this is what that edge looks like when you zigzag over the casing finish. I think it looks really nice. So use a safety pin, go ahead and insert it in that opening and pull it all the way through. And then once you're done, go ahead and overlap those elastic edges, zigzag them, and then pull the sheet so that it's more taut and then close your casing and you're finished. Ba-bam, girl, good job. This is the final result again. All these fabrics are from Raspberry Creek Fabrics and I ended up making, <laughs> making my baby a matching net and I thought it was so cute. What a cute baby shower gift idea, right? And the fabric's so soft, he totally fell asleep while we were taking photos. So if you like this or have comments or questions, leave them and feel free to subscribe. Thanks, guys.